Hello, future cold course successors and creative achievers. My name is Shada Shaglu. I took the course on fall 2021. I was asked by Ms. Intisar to make some sort of an informative video sharing my experience with the course. So I hope you enjoy it and perhaps learn a thing or two. The course was nothing short of a unique experience. I came into this course with the preconceived idea it was just going to be another computer course, like Computer 1 and 2, where we learn information and memorize and take a test. While indeed we did learn more about computers and technology, it was done in a unique and creative way. Now at the end of the course, I feel very proud of the assignments I've done. I feel as though I've achieved something that I can see, not just memorize information. You walk out of the course a person with a new set of skills that are tangible. This course has had and will continue to have a big impact on my journey as an English teacher because it taught us many new skills practically and not just in theory. It will teach you how to make teaching English more fun, interactive and visual. And I can really see myself using many of the techniques and stuff that we have learned in this class in a real teaching setting. It's truly an experience that you will remember for life because you have all of your achievements, you will have all of your achievements in front of you and you will continue, hopefully, to use them. So let me begin by talking about some of the apps that have helped me achieve uh, the different assignments that we, we were tasked with in this course. As you can see here, I'm using this video editing app called Kind Master. I think it's one of the best out there. It can be a little bit complicated at first, but just keep playing around with it and you will definitely figure it out. So, I'm actually in the process of making this video in the same app as I'm showing you a quick tutorial of it. So, just to talk about it quickly, you just click on media, there's many options you can obviously choose to use, pictures that you already have on your phone, or you click on image assets on here and you will be presented with many different stock images that the app itself provides, you know. You can download different packs. These are the packs that I downloaded and used. And it's pretty easy to be honest. You just choose an image. For example, let's choose this and this. Okay, you can like add text on top of it. Anything. Just to try. Okay, and then you can make it big. Change the font, okay, play with uh, the colors, what else can you do, um, okay, you can then press, press on here, you can delete the text. Layers is the things that you can add on top of the pictures that you already choose, so you can add also uh, stickers, I downloaded different ones. There's many different cute things over here. As you can see. Let's choose one and see. Okay. This is a sticker. And then press again on the picture. And you can obviously add audio of your choosing. You can like choose music from the app itself, all of these music are provided by, by the app. I think they're royalty free, so there is no problem using it. 
they will not get copyrighted by YouTube later on. So I I advise you to choose songs that are provided by the app itself, unless you're sure that the music you download is royalty free. And also, one of the best features with Kindmaster is a very good built-in recorder, you know. I noticed that the other video editing apps have a really bad quality of recorders. You would record your voice inside the app and it would be like really a bad quality. But I noticed that Kindmaster has a very good built-in recorder. When I used to use all the apps with bad recording, I would have to use my original phone recorder and then convert the audio with an other, other app and it was a really tedious, you know, process, so yeah. One other thing, I forgot to mention that I used Kindmaster to do two of my assignments plus this current video that you're seeing. I used Kindmaster for my Destiny game review video and for my storytelling podcast. And oh my god, let me tell you how fun both of these assignments were. Like, I never expected that the teacher was gonna tell us to do something like this. This is the breaking point where I knew, yeah, this course was fun. So let me just briefly explain to you what these assignments are about. So first we were asked to do a game review video, so you can either go to the normal phone app, uh, store and search for vocabulary games to play for two weeks and then you review them based on the rubric that the professor has made. Or you can choose a normal actual video game like I did, I choose Destiny 2 and you play it for two weeks and you evaluate the game based on many factors but the main idea is that you want to review the game and see how useful it can be to teach English. And then you have the storytelling podcast. You basically choose a, a short story for kids and you voice act and it was really fun. Talk to you about an app that absolutely changed everything for me and made everything way more easier. Canva. I used it to make basically three uh, assignments, the newsletter assignment, the infographic assignment and the flashcards and it absolutely saved me because it's incredibly easy to use. These are my projects. I've done many. Just an example. Let me show you how to use it quickly. Okay, so first of all, go to home. If you want to make a newsletter, just search for newsletters. And it will, it will give you many different, uh, what do you call them? Designs or templates, yes, to use and choose from. And it's incredibly, easy you know you have many options different options infographics many different ones i actually wish i used it and i i wish i knew about it to use it with the e-posters because my e-posters were honestly a mess i just didn't know how to make it myself on powerpoint presentation um, PowerPoint presentation is actually very tedious to use on phones and I didn't have a computer so my, this is this is incredibly easy to use and it has very nice templates to be honest it's such eye candy here you see my PowerPoint presentation interactive game 
I was actually very shocked and surprised that you could make a video game, a simple one, I know, but it's still a game, on bar PowerPoint presentation. I never knew about this at all. And all of my siblings and my family were very surprised that I actually made such a thing. And I think this is one of these assignments where I definitely will use it with, you know, especially children to learn English. So let me demonstrate quickly, which is not, you see, you choose the options and it gives you whether you had a correct answer or not. Which one is not a fruit? Burrito, so good job. Uh, not healthy. And this is a really nice way to make uh, students, you know, learn some vocabulary in a really fun way because, like, this is the most important thing when learning English. You want it to be, you want it to be, you know, easy going not really forced down you know on them to learn so a game is a really a really nice way and you know incorporating your vocabulary into their into their life you know so yeah i i wish i could like give you a quick tutorial on how to make this unfortunately i don't really have a laptop right now or else i would give you um some sort of a tutorial on how to make it but you know youtube is filled with them i uh you know it is a little bit confusing just at first but then it's really easy you know the like the main idea you want to use slides and link them to one another you know so so here the word kiwi is linked to the correct slide you know the other two are, are linked to the to the wrong slide, saying it's the wrong answer. And there's obviously sound as well in this game, but I can't really play it on the phone. So yeah, this is really, really fun. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's talk about another assignment that is really, really useful. Uh, Google Classroom. Uh, we were tasked with creating like a real class where you publish you know questions and materials for your students to study here's my classmates uh, classes and here's mine so you create a class and then you publish like an announcement saying hello you know and then you give them some kind of questions related to whether you want to choose writing or listening or grammar and then we recorded a lesson we can either record it as a life lesson or a youtube i choose to record <coughs> just a youtube uh, lesson and i shared it here for them to watch and then i created online tests using the e-exams application so you know like in the pandemic right now it's very crucial to learn how to communicate with our students online so yeah you know you this is a really nice way of you know keeping in touch with your students where you can post announcements post you know lessons for them to watch and then post you know questions as well and it's very easy to create your first classes and then plus create or join class your class name and then create very easy and then we have three very similar uh, assignments powerpoint presentations e-poster and prezi presentations the professor gave us um, Give us the freedom to choose an article about any topic we want, read it, uh, summarize the main points it's talking about, and then we use the same content for these three assignments. 
so the concept is pretty easy but yet I managed to do not very well because I didn't have a PC PowerPoint presentation is really bad and difficult to use on the phone so I advise you to if you have a laptop use it on a laptop pretty I couldn't do it at all because it because while the PPT presentation and imposter could be done on a phone even if it's not a very good quality one the the pressure uh, presentation requires you to work online on you know on the computer so sadly I didn't manage to do that and last but not least we were asked at the beginning of the class to actually write a blog about ourselves using the blogger.com uh, site you basically sign in into your google account and you press the plus and you just write whatever here it's pretty easy to use and yeah i really enjoyed the the blogging and writing because I re it's really something that i love doing brings us to the end of the video like and this is like the last finalizing step that you're going to do and it's absolutely my favorite so the professor came up with the to be honest a genius idea of creating a site for all the students that have took this course for them to you know um, keep their mark and keep their work in just a, a one place you know so this is the google sites and we have uh, the three semesters that uh, the teacher have you know uh, given all of these are my classmates and yeah everyone has like their own page where the they showcase all of the assignments that they did and it's a really good idea because I can't believe that you know working on all of these assignments and spending all of this time for it to just you know be forgotten it's actually really encouraging to know that your work will be on display one day and you know you're hopefully about to graduate and it's a really nice way to like leave your you know your last mark in this university you know it reminds me of the Hollywood Walk of Fame in some sort of way where you know your name is still here you know so yeah you get the idea it's a nice way of you know just saying hey I studied this and I did all of this so you can this is my page you can like uh, you know write about yourself and then you have the newsletter i hope it shows here it's supposed to, sh to show you know so all of your work is supposed to be here you can view it at any time, view other other students' work. This is my two videos. Uh, one thing, if, I think that you can actually do a pretty good job on this assignment, even if you didn't have a PC. And the way you do this is by, so this is like uh, an updated version of Google Chrome, the app. You press on the three dots up here you press on desktop site and it will show it in this way i wish i showed it earlier this is better but yeah when you do this like at the first it will ask you to and it will tell you that you can't use google sites unless you are 
you know on a desktop don't worry about that you can like request this desktop site and yes it's not gonna be as smooth as using it on a computer obviously but you know don't get discouraged and say oh, I can never do this just because you know you don't have a PC you can you can do a decent job you know at at you know organizing your stuff at the beginning I didn't use a PC even for some pages, I think I just use my phone, but then I just made a lot of finishing uh, touches on, you know, on the PC. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something and I want you to know that, like, get, uh, get ready to really work, you know and it's not a bad thing that you're gonna work hard you're actually gonna it's gonna pay off at the end you know when you see all your name over here with your classmates and you know it's a really new activity that you will really never forget you know so yeah Miss Antisa was a really nice teacher and have fun guys, get creative, get your energy out on doing something that you love, and yeah, peace, hopefully you all pass the, the curriculum with the desired degree.